And hi, everybody. How's it going out there? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm Kenneth Tan. And um, I guess a little bit about myself. I'm here to talk to you today, I guess, about what I do. Um, so it's drawing and painting. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a kid from Santa Clara County, just like you guys. Um, I grew up here. I'm from San Jose. Um, I was born over at Stanford. My mom used to be a nurse there. But otherwise, I'm a Santa Clara County kid, just like you all. Uh, so yeah, so I have a few slides to show you today, kind of about what I do. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I hope to leave most of the time for questions and answers. So, you know, if you have any questions or, you know, you and your folks over there, feel free to send them over. But okay. Let me share my screen here. Here we go. All right. Okay. So there we go. So here we go. So yeah, my name is Kenneth Tan again, and this is a picture of me and my grandma. So part of what I do, and I'll, I'll talk more about it, is actually make drawings and paintings with my grandma. I kind of moved back home and we started working together, and um, I've been doing that ever since. So this is us at New Year's. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So like I was saying, my passion, how do you turn it, you know, we're talking passions to careers. So my passions were, you got a pencil and a, a palette there. I like to draw and I like to paint. And, um, you know, my path to getting there, I kind of have a little drawing here. It wasn't direct, like I didn't, I knew I always liked to draw and paint, but the path to getting to where I am now, actually drawing and painting, uh, kind of went all over the place and I made pit stops and all these different places, um, but now I finally landed here. So I'll talk about that. But okay, so here's the game plan. First, I'll talk a little bit about, you know, when I was a kid, stuff I like to do um, pretty much. And then how I got here. This is a picture of me and my grandma, how I started this, this art project with my grandma. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about what I'm actually working on now, what kind of projects I'm doing. And then we'll have time at the end for question and answer. So I really want to get there. So, you know, this part should be brief, I think. Okay, so here's a picture. This is me and my mom, my grandma. Uh, these two ladies raised me. So out here in San Jose, uh, when I was a kid, I really wanted to, I wanted to draw comic books. I loved X-Men, Marvel, Avengers, all that stuff when I was a kid. And that's what I wanted to do. But you know, my mom, um, <laughs> she wanted me to be a doctor. So I grew up thinking that's what I had to be. You know, she would tell me, you know, oh, you like to draw? That's nice. You can do that as a hobby. Uh, <laughs> but so I, I grew up thinking, you know, okay, I have to be a doctor. Um, and then when I come home, I can draw. That's just for fun. Uh, so, you know, I kind of I kind of pursued that. I ended up studying public health in college as a compromise. Um, I knew I wanted to like help people in some way and, and, and it was health related. So I do public health. After that, I was living in LA and I was working on public health. Uh, but then I got a call from my mom and she was saying that she needed knee surgery. Uh, so, you know, I moved back home because it was just her. This is me and my grandma uh, when I moved back home. Uh, and, you know, my mom and my grandma raised me. So of course, you know, I'm going to come back home and, and I wanted to care for them like they cared for me, you know? So, so yeah, I quit my job down in LA and I moved back home. So when I moved back home, my grandma and I, we started this thing called the Lola and Kenneth collaboration. So what is that? Basically it's, it's me and my grandma drawing together. You know, we were just watching Netflix every day. And it's funny cause you know, it's like, it's 2021 now and, and I, I finished Netflix. Like, I, <laughs> I fit, we're done. I finished it. I've seen everything. Um, so we were just watching TV every day. And then one day I was in the kitchen with my grandma. And I said, Grandma, what do you want to do today? Um, Lola. Lola means grandma in, in Tagalog, um, which is our language. So uh, my Lola said, I want to do something that is for a purpose. So, you know, I tried to think of different things and I'd heard that art therapy was a thing with seniors and I always liked to draw when I was a kid, hadn't done it in a long time, but, um, but I had art supplies in the house, so I brought them out and we just kept going from there. So, yeah, I, ha I have this video here, I'll play it and it, it pretty much it, it describes our process and, and, and how we work together. Here we go. Hi, I'm Kenneth and this is my grandma. I am my Lola, Crescentiana. And together we're the Lola and Kenneth collaboration. I hope you will be patient enough to watch me. Before my grandma turned 94, I moved back home to help care for her. And I wanted to make sure that we were making memories together. So I thought, okay, you know, why don't, why don't we make some cool stuff together? Why don't we make some art? Lola starts each painting and usually based on her memories or her stories, I finish each piece. We've painted for friends, and we've gone out and made more friends. I think we've made some good memories. When my Lola passed, I knew we still had work to do together, so I'm going to see it through. My grandma made the paintings, and I promised to finish everything she started. Yeah, 
yeah, so that's it, everybody. So that's um, the Lola and Kenneth collaboration. My, my grandma makes paintings and I promised to finish everything she started. So my Lola, she, my Lola passed, but she made a lot of paintings. And so I'm still working on them. Um, you know, before I'll, I'll show you a few examples of it, of kind of our work. So, you know, before I would draw right on top of my grandma's paintings, um, but I realized, you know, if I do that, there's going to be a point when I've drawn on everything and then that's kind of the end of it. So, uh, you know, what I do now is I take scans of her paintings and I draw on top of them digitally, like on my iPad. So that way, you know, it never ends. Uh, so yeah, so here's an example. I'll give you an example. This is uh, one of my grandma's paintings and here we go. This is what it turns into kind of after I've drawn, I've drawn with it, over and with it, around it. So yeah, I base everything kind of on her memories and her story. So I actually finished this piece maybe like last week. Um, so this here on the left, that's my grandpa. And over on the right, that's my grandma with my mom and my aunt. Uh, you know, at the time my grandpa's actually from China, but he, um, something happened that really broke his heart and he had to move back to China. So this is, this is that moment when he had to leave my, my, my grandma and, and his daughters behind in the Philippines and move back to China at the time. Okay, so I'll show you another piece. Okay, so here's my Lola's painting, my grandma's painting. And this is what I turned it into. All right, so do you know what that animal is? Um, <laughs> so this, uh, in the Philippines, it's called a carabao. So I guess it's kind of like a water buffalo or an ox. Uh, basically, you know, my, my grandma comes, we're, we're farmers. We come from far, a farming family in the Philippines. So my, my Lola, um, they had a carabao in their family named Putot. Um, and it helped them kind of, you know, plant the rice, plant the rice in the fields and do all of their farm work. And it was called Putot because I think it, in um, Filipino, it means cut off. And so I don't know if you know Eeyore, but their carabao was missing its tail. Uh, <laughs> so that's why they called it that. And so this is my tribute to our carabao, my family's carabao back in the Philippines. Cool. All right, so this is a book. So what am I working on right now? This book, I'm working on a book. So that's why I have a picture of a book on the screen. Uh, right now, I'm trying to finish everything we started and I'm writing a book. Basically, it's all of our pieces and, you know, I'm telling the story of my grandma's life and, you know, our, our life together here in San Jose, California. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping to finish it this year. I'm trying really hard and I'm going to be doing a Kickstarter later in the year uh, to, to make it happen, to publish it. Okay. And then here's my contact info for, you know, you and your folks. If you want to reach out, uh, please drop me a line. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, always feel free to reach out. My email is here. Um, my website and, uh, and and yeah, my social media handle too. If you want to check that out, but yeah, that's that's about it. Thank you for listening. <laughs> yeah. So if anybody has any questions, because that was a really really great story that you had. Not everybody really gets to have. Gets, gets to pursue their passion, especially when it comes to something creative like art and drawing, but the fact that you get to do it and then connect with your family and share your stories, I think that's just so amazing. So our first question that we have coming, coming in is what software do you use? That's a great question. Cool. Um, also, thanks, Jenna. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I get, I found my, I don't know, I kind of came back to drawing. So yeah, and it, it's an extra Bonus, absolutely, that I get to do with my grandma. Uh, so what software do I use? I use, I draw on my iPad and I use an app called Procreate. So I really, really recommend it. It's, it's awesome. I, I, I use my little, my Apple Pencil and um, Procreate. And I'm working on something right now. Yeah, so I recommend that. All right, next question. What should students do now if they want to start a career in art? Okay, oh. Uh, if students want, what should you do now if you want to start a career in art? Let me see, draw every day, you know, I, or paint every day, whatever it is you like, you love to do, whatever you love to create, however you like to create art, create art, make sure you're doing it a lot, because that's, um, that's how you get better. I feel like drawing and painting, those things, they're like muscles. So, you, you know, like muscles, you need to exercise them um, so that they get stronger. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get to go to I didn't go to art school or take classes, but I love to draw. What I did is um, I went to the library. My mom would bring us to the library, like almost every day after school, and every time I would check out a different book. 
Uh, but it was at the time it was like those things that were like step one, draw a line. Step two, an owl. Um, <laughs> But so you know, read books now. It's great, you know. Go online, watch tutorials. Um, just yeah, just stay interested in all and you know, learning. Yeah, that's a great tip. I mean, with YouTube now, you can look up anything. Yeah. And I have to tell you that I, as a kid, I loved to draw, but then somewhere along the way, if you teachers. Or I don't know if it's teachers, but you're told not to doodle in class, right? <laughs> so I totally forgot about drawing until later on, okay. you know, somebody said, well, I got an iPad Pro and a pencil. Hey. And they told me that you can sketch note. And when you do sketch noting, you can draw just a simple stick person in your notes. And that, you know, there's power in just drawing stick people. Right. So I went on to YouTube to learn how to draw a stick person. And oh, really it that opened up creativity for me. And then I started love just simple sketching. So for any of you who out there who want to start drawing, start drawing those simple things. Right. Totally. And then I put Procreate in the chat for everybody. That's the program that he uses. But I do have another recommendation. If you're looking for a free app that's similar to Procreate, Adobe Draw is one that, or Adobe Sketch. Either of those are ones that I really love, and they're both free on a mobile device. So awesome. let's see. Any other questions that we have? Or Kenneth, we still we still do have some time. Here we go. What college did you go to? Sure, uh, I went to up north, UC Berkeley. Ooh. Yeah, and I studied public health up there. So, yeah. And Which came in handy this year, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hot topic of the last year. Yeah. Are you doing art at all in college? I was drawn in my notes, just like you were saying. Um, kind of on on the side I wasn't I didn't get to like take any formal classes um but I was like drawing for fun you know in high school did you take art elective classes at all you know what I took I did I took I think I took intro like the intro class like you did a little bit of everything you did like a little bit of painting made made a drawing we did paper mache um yeah so actually I did that I did do that yeah Let's see, We can you suggest any good free online art software? Do, do you have any other free? Um, I think, well, probably the ones you suggested, I'm gonna check out too. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, um, how, I don't know. I haven't, the, the one, yeah, the one I'm, I'm familiar with is Procreate, um, but yeah, but you do have to pay for that app. I'm not sure about free online ones. Sorry, yeah, but Adobe, Adobe Draw. Yeah. yeah um can art help in any career I yes think nice. <laughs> yeah. i think so because you know there's something about making those visual connections right so even no matter what you're learning you're learning science you're learning history i i like to teach sketch noting right so if you're if you're thinking of those concepts and you're you're thinking of those visual images i loved kenneth's presentation because he put lots of icons on the page because if we see a book that sparks that sparks more thoughts and ideas right so being able to translate your thoughts into pictures that's a really great skill to have Cool. So let's yeah. see, I'm a big fan. I love using Procreate too. So that's from Sophie. So we have another person who hey. Procreate. <laughs> I'm kind of going off of what you were saying, Jenna. Like I, I read some. I, I took this like free online class about like how to learn. Like I went really meta because I was like, I want to learn more. What's the most like? How can I study effectively? And in that course, they talked about how just from evolution, we are naturally visual learners. A lot of us tend to be very visual. We like pictures. Um, so, so yeah. So, you know, I think that speaks to what you were saying. Um, how how it is a good skill to be able to create like a visual, uh, like create a picture. You know, put your thoughts into pictures, and then kind of explain what you're thinking using pictures. Yes. Yeah. All right. We have a great question. Did Lola tell you the stories as she painted? Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, she did. It was a mixture. Um, you know, sometimes she was just painting how she felt that day. 
Uh, so it was more abstract, but a lot of the times, you know, I, I'd go back after they dried and I'd ask her like, okay, what were you painting here? And, and, and she'd share with me, you know, sometimes it was a, it was a story, there was a story behind it. Uh, or sometimes it was the other way. Sometimes, you know, I'd have her paintings and I'd have to do like a, like, you know, I'd turn it this way and I'd be like, hmm, what does this look like? And I have to match it to what I know about her or stories that she's told me before. Um, but yes, she did sometimes like share her stories as she was painting. What kind of paint did your grandma use? Watercolor, oil, what was she using? She, yeah, so she, it, it's watercolor. Yeah, I just got, I went to Michael's, I got like the the Michael's brand, just, you know, the, the student, you know, kind of multicolor set, whatever it was, because I was like, let's just try this out. Um, and I had some watercolors too in the house and we just used those. Nice. How do you respond to family who worry about their children becoming starving artists? Sure. I mean, I think I pretty much went through that. You know, my mom, the reason she she said, okay, you need to be a doctor is because, you know, you know, my mom and my grandma, were, we were very, very poor in the Philippines, you know, we grew up in pretty much, you know, my mom and my grandma grew up in a hut. Um, they were hungry, you know, um, and money was very tight. And so, their way out of it was my mom, um, my grandma worked really hard so that my mom could go to school and she she graduated, become a nurse. Um, and that's how, you know, we, we were all able to, you know, start our lives here. Um, I was born and raised here, but my mom, you know, that was a good job for them. It, it lifted them out um, of, of poverty. So that's why my mom said, please be a doctor because, you know, to her that was saying, um, you'll be okay, you'll be financially okay. Um, but you know what the heart of it, what she really, really wants, it's not about the money, it's, it's about being happy. She wants to make sure that I'm okay and I can take care of myself. Um, so I think it helps that, I don't know, there's been traction in what I do. Like now I, you know, I am actually, if there is income and, um, you know, I'm, I'm not starving. Um, so what can I say to that? Now there is, if you love to do something, there's, there's you know, there's a way to make, there's a living in it. Um, yeah. So you don't have to be a starving artist. <laughs> was it scary when you decided to, to jump into this? It's weird. I, I, it just kind of happened. You know, I moved home. Um, I had a retail job right when I moved back home. And, and we started doing, you know, this project together and it turned into this. Now it's a, it's a small business. Um, so, you know, I didn't I didn't come home to it's weird. I didn't come home thinking I was going to be drawing and painting again. Um, you know, I moved home because I, I wanted to help, you know, care for my mom and my grandma. And, and this just kind of happened. So diving into it, it it's, I mean, I, I love it. Um, it's what I always wanted to do. Um, yeah, I think, you know, it, I do think back and wonder like, gosh, what if I just gone to school and studied art and, you know, made a career out of it that way, gone into maybe graphic design. Um, illustration. If you love to draw and paint, there are careers out there where you can use that, that creativity. Um, but I wonder how different my life would have been. Um, but yeah, but this is, it's, it's been really nice, this whole journey process. Yeah. It's so interesting how you just fell into it. And for all of you out there, the reason, the reason why I invited Kenneth to be part of this career fair is because I met him a couple of years ago at the San Jose craft fair in December, because I love going to the craft fair and buying the most unique presents for my family for Christmas. And I came across his booth and I bought a print of his, it's his know your roots print and because I have a cousin who I just knew she would love it. It would fit perfectly in her home. I framed it for her and it's like one of her favorite prints that she has. And and just the story behind it. it. It's just so inspiring, you know, that for him to connect with his grandma and to share that story that I just knew that I had to have him come and present at this career fair. So, so blessed that we've, that you were able to, that you said yes, and that you're here to share your story because it's so cool that, you know, that, this is possible. It is possible to fall into something and really to be able to follow a passion like this. So, oh, post your contact info. So let me, I did put a link to his 
um, website. So, but I don't know, do you want to show it on the screen again, your contact info? Sure, yeah, I can put it back on there. Um, I can do that. And then you can click on the link and that'll take you to his site. And then that's where you can see all the prints and everything that he sells. There we go. Yeah, do we have any, any final questions for Kenneth? Are there other people in the in here who are aspiring artists, you know, maybe thinking of going into art someday? Or anybody who likes to doodle <laughs> on the side? I was definitely a doodler. For sure, me too. All right. Many of my students want to show you their art. Oh, super cool. Yeah. I'd love to see it. Send it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, however you like it my emails there or or what or yeah i know so unfortunately because we're recording these sessions they asked us not to have the cameras on for all of our participants or else i this this session in particular <laughs> i was really trying to push to be able to get cameras turned on because i just knew that you know what you do really does inspire people especially those people who are artists or who are creative thinking that maybe that's not a passion that they should pursue because, because it's difficult or maybe, you know, people think it, you can't really make a lot of money in that field. For sure. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. There, if you love to draw and paint and, and you're worried about what that looks like as a career, as a career, I mean, there, there are options out there. There are things you can do with those skills, that creativity that you have graphic design, um, illustration. I mean, in, in really in any job I found um, in my non-art jobs, you know, I, I was a like a research assistant and like they needed someone who could make a poster. And I was like, oh, I'd love to do that. You know, so I, I found those, those kind of skills, drawing, um, painting, graphic design, every, regardless of the field. I mean, it's always good to have someone like that on the team who can do those things. Yeah, and if you're looking for another really free uh, free tool that sparks a lot sparked a lot of creativity for me, Adobe Spark is a, a free tool that it's just online and you can make posts, right? And you can make really quick and easy videos. Um, like if you, if you like graphic design, it's really good for that. Here we go. Do you have the roots art drawing to show? Sure, I can pull oh, it. Yeah, up. can you show that? Yeah. Um, let me get this open. Let's see if I can get it. Yes, I can. I'm happy to show share it with you. And maybe explain it a, a little bit and where <laughs> it came from. Okay. Um. Okay. And let me share now. Okay. Here we go. So this is the piece. Uh, so, you know, here we have like four root vegetables from the left, ube, yam, sweet potato, taro. These are all things from my grandma's kitchen that I grew up eating. Um, ube is really popular in, in Filipino culture. We use it in a lot of our desserts. So my grandma would put that, she was a big, she loved to bake and she would make these things called hopia. It's basically like this flaky, delicious, crusty thing on the outside. And then in the inside, there's a filling. And sometimes she put ube, like mashed up ube. And that was my favorite. Um, so yeah, so these are, these are things I grew up eating. And, and you know underneath it says it's just a pun you know like know your roots um so it's about you know i mean it's pretty much what i what i've been doing in this you know i feel like in this project with my grandma you know learning about her i've also been learning about myself you know and where we come from my family so so this is just kind of a, a little reminder out there you know um yeah learn about your roots and and eat more ube <laughs> yeah somebody's asking what is your book called do you have <laughs> i don't know yet i'm still trying to figure out what to title it like it should be with just my grandma's name um i don't know I'm, I'm i'm still thinking about that so yeah i'm gonna do a kickstarter though later this year to 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 publish it so i should have a title by then yeah i mean i just think it's so cool that you're keeping your grandmother's memory alive in this way through your art and now through your book oh, so I appreciate it. that's Thank you. That's really cool. Oh, thanks, Jenna. All right, let's see. We have three minutes. Any last questions? Three or... minutes, everybody. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I love the conversation. I love the questions that all of you are coming up with. 
and it's just so great that you know to see all of the artwork and that Kenneth has had to share with us today. Uh, fun. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, wait, before you go, I almost forgot. I do have a survey. So hey, I'm going to okay. copy this link and put it into the chat. If everybody can click on this link and give us some feedback. This is the very first time that we did a virtual career fair so we would love any feedback that you do have if you really like this you know maybe we can put something on like this again so i just want to thank you for being here and yeah it seems like this is a very popular session they really liked you sharing and sharing your memories and sharing your art and everything that you've presented today Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me here. And thanks for everyone like be, like sharing your time too. I appreciate it. Yay. Hey. So, <laughs> I mean, I wish we could see all of all of you on camera, but we're really appreciative of you being here. We're really appreciative of Kenneth for sharing his work with us. This was such a great session. So thank you all. And Hopefully we'll see you next time.